Alright, hey guys, I know this is kind of weird, but still. So basically, I am showing you how I wash my face. It's not a not get ready with me video, but how I wash my face. So I use my Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash, which doesn't it doesn't help my skin, I have to be honest. I've been using it for a month now. I've been using it for a month now, and as you can see, I still got stuff. I don't know what that is, if it's from my allergies or what. So, I had makeup on my face. I'm just washing, washing, washing. Oh, I'm using this. It's a facial scrub. And it should be getting like, yeah, all the dirt and gunk out my skin. And I normally wash it when I wash my face. I normally use it. looking all shiny and stuff I think that was a bad idea to wash my neck and then wash my face but whatever where's my damn towel Okay, somebody's playing a joke on me. I'll just use my husband's towel. I hope it's clean. So, yep. Every time I wash my face, I normally use the other wash. It's the same thing, except that one that I just use has beads. Has, um... It's a scrub, foaming scrub. The other one is just, well, regular, I guess. So now, yes, these are my actual lashes. I didn't put anything on my lashes. This makeup that's underneath my eyelid. In order to get it off, I use the Pond's wrinkle-free, rejuvenate, whatever. Normally I use the regular ponds, the green top ponds, but this one I usually leave it on my face overnight. And it has helped because I used to have these really thick lines in my forehead and they're slowly going away. And I've been using this for a month also. So yeah. I don't really do these skincare routine thingies. I don't do them. I just feel like I am what I am and my face is what it is. And I don't really care, I guess you could say. So I just use it and then I wipe the makeup from under my eye. Wipe it from my creases on my eye corner and I wipe it and it just comes off because it's kind of like an oil based product I guess I don't know what it is really ponds I don't know but I know when I use it it takes makeup right off so yeah so now Normally I do it like this. And right as I'm speaking to you, it burns. So I have extremely sensitive skin and it burns. But I leave it on my face anyway because I'm a gangster. <laughs> but yeah, I put thick because my face gets dry so easily. My face gets dry here, 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 my lips. <laughs> and 
and under my eyes here and my forehead sometimes my face gets oily like mm, where it gets oily normally it would be my forehead but it hasn't been oily it's been dry and I'm assuming it's because of this weather it's winter and it's extremely cold where I am so yeah <laughs> so all these they just pop up on my face sometimes I have clear skin sometimes I don't beats me and my pores are so visible it's not even funny anymore what the frack is this i never had this today you see what i'm talking about they just randomly pop up like some they just pop up so shit i hate when my eyelashes get in my eye so i can never get them out and i have to use the tweezer and pull them right out my friggin eyelash socket shit but yeah that's basically it how i ended up with such nice cute lashes i use water water from the top because we know we're poor and i line them all top and bottom same on the other side water water from the root i mean water grows things outside like plants and whatever so i'm just assuming it helps but that's what i normally do i wash my face and i put water 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 and then after i put water i wonder if i got any more under there okay i think we got it all Yep, we got it all. So this is my face. Without anything, I think it looks so cute. I'm so cute. I'm a cute baby. I love the way how I look in the mirror. But as soon as I come on my phone, it's just like a whole different thing. I'm like, uh-huh. Like, girl, you too cute. <laughs> but yeah basically <laughs> think i'm coming down with them i hope not but that's basically my face for you um my teeth i know this because i haven't been eating a lot of curry and drinking a lot of um eating a lot of curry and drinking some tea with colors and stuff my teeth isn't getting so pearly white it's turning yellow as you can see my eyes are white and this my shirt is white the shirt behind me is white my teeth ain't it's like slowly getting yellow and i can't do that so i use lemon juice and charcoal and i do this every single night and every time i brush my teeth Every time I take a shower, I brush my teeth with charcoal and lemon juice. Or when I'm done brushing with the charcoal and the lemon juice. Like tonight I had curry. slowly it'll keep coming back you know it'll come back to being white again or close to white and I'll just stay away from eating all those um, foods that cause my feet to get this color it's just a big no 
can't afford to be walking around and look like a friggin vampire. So as you can see, with one swift wash, I guess there's a difference, I don't know. I, I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit, am I bleeding? And there goes my facial routine. You see why I don't, I can't keep up, man. Can't keep up. But yeah, that's basically it. So then I brush my teeth with the toothpaste and because they, they claim all these toothpastes help, I don't really care, you know. So then I did that because I'm actually on the camera and I'm holding my phone and I don't want it to get destroyed. Make sure so you brush your teeth before you go to your bed. Because this can't help you alone. You need to brush. You need to rinse your mouth first. So that you don't bring all that food all over your mouth. You need to rinse out the food particles first. Then you brush with that charcoal and lemon juice or whatever you got. Then you rinse your mouth. Then you brush with the toothpaste. gentle circular motions I just brush hard I know and this is what we basically do I basically do it every night before I go to bed before I go to work I take at least twice two showers a day and I brush my teeth at least two times a day, sometimes more. Like if I'm home now, I brush my teeth three times because I brush it when I wake up, I brush it during the day, and I brush it before I go to sleep. So, yeah. Same thing with my shower, I take a shower every time I brush my teeth, or when I brush my teeth I take a shower, vice versa, whatever. I'm not trying to have rotten teeth. I'm sorry. I have really nice teeth. I mean, my smile is my gem. So if I fuck up my teeth, then hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The end to my story. Because the only thing I got is my smile and my eyes. So if I fuck those up, that's why I don't read in the dark no more. I need to protect my eyes and that's why I brush my teeth every single friggin day of my life because I can't afford to have rotten teeth basically done with my nightly mouth and face routine the teeth thing I've been doing it for years honey years so that's probably why I got nice teeth
and the next step to the teeth floss always floss now me i go close up to the i go close up to the mirror because you can't see everything if you bleed you bleed i saw it go and you have to make sure you clean above your gum here you have to clean it so that there's no food particles up in there clean it clean all the way around and I have the pipe running as I'm going along so I can rinse as I'm going along and yeah if you're not doing this then you're you should expect to have some rotten teeth in the future i mean seriously you're, you're going to lose your teeth because your toothbrush your toothbrush can't reach all up in that crease in your gall and i uh, See, I'm cleaning and I don't see anything. No food particles, but I still rinse. Because you never know what comes out. And you use it to clean around your teeth. You have to go around your teeth. Around and around. You clean in between and around. I don't see anything. I just add so. Oh. I expected to see some big old chunks of food, but I don't. So, yeah. My apologies for spitting on camera, but. It's a mouth routine. You must expect spit. And it's just water. Okay? Don't be all dramatic and shit. So now, you change the floss. Here. That's one thing I don't play with. The floss. Because you're just going to spread whatever is up top, down, bottom. And you don't want that. So, my god, 18 minutes already? And you just keep going with this. Uh, this takes a lot of time, people, so I'm sorry. I don't want it to go over time. Uh-huh. But thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Brush your teeth and floss. It's the right thing to do. Especially for all those people that you're kissing. You expect them to kiss your dirty mouth. Ew. And get in between them wisdom teeth too. Open me a mouth because I know you can't open me a mouth. Uh huh. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm cleaning my wisdom teeth. Uh. This is my routine. Every night. For the past couple of years for the past i don't know since i was four or five in jamaica i didn't have floss and i'm not saying we're primitive in jamaica i'm just saying we didn't buy floss we didn't have the money to spend on that luxury to buy floss so we used string 
or a piece just a piece of string from your clothes or a piece of cord just a little thin piece so you can use clean in between your teeth and if you're going to use a piece of string to clean in between your teeth because you're scared oh my god i'm gonna bleed if you don't have it you don't have it honey work with what you got tired for setup so yeah then on my lips i basically just put some vaseline not a whole lot i mean it looks like a ton not whatever there's a ton wipe it back in the buckle you all when i use it anyway and i just wipe it around my lips like so to keep them moisturized and not dry and i wipe it on my nostril like this because at night i can't breathe it just feels like the air is extremely dry and i can't breathe so this is basically my routine for the night and i'm already at 21 minutes which is way too much way too long and i don't have time to edit anything so you're gonna get it just like this all right you guys and normally i just wrap my hair around like so wrap 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 and put a stocking cap over it i don't know if y'all want to see that too but you just wrap in the direction where your hair is plaited it'll feel more comfortable that way wrap it around put the stocking cap and it keeps your hair looking fresh and neat every striking day because like me Oh crap, I forgot to add my stuff. Yeah, so normally I use this bamboo extract thing and I just spray it all over my head. I have two of them, two different kinds. One's bamboo and one's something else. And I basically just spray it all over my head. Just keeps my hair, I don't know, together, I guess. It doesn't do anything, it's just water, so I don't know what it is design essentials i don't know bamboo and silk oh it's a leave-in conditioner it just seems like water and i just sprayed all over my head i was wondering what was causing my head from being not so dry anymore it's this i spray it every single day every night and i leave it in my head massage around my borders and yeah and I just wrap it around my head like so because when my hair is too tight I can't sleep and then I use my stocking cap because I can't afford the fancy things that y'all have I'm not buying any if I can use all this probably that's why my hair is growing in such a slow pace but this is just my nightly routine you know you know what I mean and you just put it at the back, put it at the front, brush your hair, comb your hair, sort out your life, and you're all set for the night. So this is basically me every night. Still cute. So, yep. So you leave your hair all wrapped up and moisturized. Now... This is the other one that I use all the time. It's called Tree Active, and it's a hair growth daily nourishing spray. So basically, I just shake it up like this, spray my head, and leave it. And Diane, use a, where is it? Don't tell me I lost it. Then use a silk uh, kerchief, tie head, whatever you want to call it. In Jamaica, we call it a tie head. That's what my grandmother used to call it anyway. And what you basically do with the tie head is you fold it like a, you fold it like this. Let me step back a little. Then you put it over your head like so silk okay 
and you put it behind your ears or if you're somebody that covers your ears go ahead and do that I like my ears free put it behind your ears and you basically take each end like so wrap it like so and you bring it around again over my ears and you tie it now I can't sleep with a whole bunch of shit on my head so if this gets too tight normally when I sleep I sleep so bad I hit everything in my way I hit everything out of my way anything in my way get the frack out so that's my hairline and I have the cutest hairline ever so I spray some put it on my edge because I mean seriously you know if you don't want to waste it spray it straight on your face no one gives a shit it's your head and this is supposed to be for your hair so who cares if it's you know somewhere else then for the rest of my body I use my Jergens daily moisturizer Rub it all on them fingers. Rub it on my hands and my elbows so my skin is soft for the next day. Rub, rub, rub for all that dry, chippy elbow. Rub on the here. And rub everywhere. Now, this one smells really good. It smells like perfume. You could use it as a perfume if you wanted to. it anywhere and everywhere you want and that's basically it for my my night my my nightly care routine I guess you could say my nightly care routine all right so almost 30 minutes in and that's it you can wear long sleeves to make sure the moisture gets sucks sucked in you can wear a eye mask if you wanted to me i put extra everything everywhere extra everything everywhere so like this now this is my jerkings i put it over the places that would get dry yes my eyelid can get dry and i don't want that Did I get it in my eye? Ugh. Look like I'm blind more I'm blind myself for a woman. That's what happens when you decide to put things in your eye, over your eye. You have to be super careful. Basically all the products I just put on my face just left the building. So you put everywhere and anywhere it needs to be. Put that shit all over your face. Put it where it's dry. And I basically just leave it. It's kind of like a mask for me. And I just leave it on my face wherever. And eventually it disappears. just vanishes like it was never there in the first place so, yep and that's it all right guys well I went way over my limit so thanks again for watching I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week because you're fantastic and you're fabulous yep all right See you guys later. Have a wonderful, ooh, I ain't touching my phone with that. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wherever I can.